Hey guys, so in this video, I want to talk about which companies in the Philippine Stock Exchange will most likely earn more because of the coronavirus. If you all know, in the previous videos, I talked about which industries, which companies, which stocks will be the most hit in a negative way. I want to talk about now which companies may earn more. So if you want to know more about that, then check this video out. Hi everyone, this is Marvin Germo, and if you're new to this channel, please subscribe and smash that bell so you get updated every time I come up with new content about investing, about the stock market, and how you can reach your goals of financial freedom. So the goal of this channel is to educate you so that you get to make the right decisions and process the right information so you do not have to rely on hype and speculation. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe and hit the bell and stay till the end of the video. Hey guys, so here's the thing. You, if you go to YouTube, you go through the news, you will see this over and over. There's a lot of talk about the coronavirus. It's all about the negativity of it. It's all about what, how, how severe it is, who gets hit, how the economy will also get tarnished as well. It's all good and it's all true that there will be some severe effects in the economy, especially tourism, especially the transportation sector, especially trade, especially uh, China is one of the biggest... Uh, manufacturers in the world and if a lot of their factories are still closed you already saw apple you already saw some of the uh, hardware companies say that they won't hit their estimates for this year because of the coronavirus that being said there are also some bright spots and if you've watched the previous videos that i've created i would always say this in every crisis there's always an opportunity there will always be winners there will always be losers as well there will be people who because of this bad news their their business or a particular segment of their sector or industry will get hit but there will be industries also there will be uh, a lot of companies that because of this they may be one of the biggest beneficiaries not because they want to take advantage but that's just really how it works that's just really how it act will actually go so let me frame this because of the coronavirus uh, number one you all know that a lot of people won't be traveling a lot of people won't be going out Hence, a lot of people will be staying on their houses. A lot of people won't, uh, will just be pretty much confined to where they are. That being said, if people will just be where they are, they won't be going out, meaning a lot of people won't be actually spending in a lot of brick and mortar stores. But here's the thing, they will be using a lot of data. And this is what I believe, uh, PLDT slash tel slash smart slash sun cellular and globe telecoms will have an uptick in income via there will be a larger demand on data there will be a larger use of data meaning if there's a lot of use of data you will see their earnings start to spike up even more you will see because as you all know last year already uh, earnings of smart earnings of uh, globe were much much better already via data how much more now if they're not going out they're not leaving their houses it means they're just going to be home either watching netflix which is which consumes a lot of data watching youtube like what you're doing right now or a lot of people like my wife what my wife is doing consuming a lot of content via shopee lazada they have a lot of live streaming where she gets to order as well so if you notice it the biggest beneficiaries to all of that will be this this uh, data slash telephone companies because everything that we do right now is on the backs of what's happening in the internet so i would i would i would say that because of this you would see as i don't know how long this will drag but as long as this is dragging on and lesser people are out most of them will be at home most of them will be in their phones most of them will be in their ipads most of them will be streaming from their television screen most of them instead of watching in movie houses they're just gonna watch at home instead of them going to concerts they'll, pro they'll probably watch youtube videos for them to be entertained as well so uh it doesn't mean it will translate in the stock price. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't mean also that in the short term you will see the, those stock prices go up because at the end of the day we're still uh, subject to what's happening in the global economy. If a lot of people are selling, if a lot of people are trying to uh, somehow take profits, a lot of people are trying to stay into cash. Those stocks will remain bearish. So 
I repeat, from a price sentiment standpoint, the trend will still be uh, the main narrative and will be the main driver of how high they will go. And until we see a reversal pattern, they're not gonna go up. But what I'm saying is this, their earnings this year will be amazing. Meaning, when all of this bad news is out, when all of this negative sentiment is out and all the people will see are earnings, all the things that people will see will be growth, all the things that they will see is how cheap the stock is and the dividends that they are giving. Please remember, um, ba based on its current trajectory, Globe last year gave 91 pesos, but th their first quarter dividends this year is higher already than uh, what they gave last year first quarter from a first quarter perspective that being said the yields if you buy it at a cheaper price would be amazing if you bought PLDT below 1000 your dividend yield for sure would be more than 7% if they continue at the pace that they're giving out dividends as well so that's what I'm saying so if, if it may not translate immediately in the stock price you buying those stocks at a lower price today will give you a handsome dividend yield this year and if they're if they have a better 2020 earnings that means their dividends for 2021 will be higher plus above and beyond that there might be a chance for better capital appreciation later on once all of the dust settles once all of this gets cleared as well and at the end of the day they're a very very still at, at, from my point of view, defensive stock because a lot of people will still use them, use their services, especially in right now. So you can expect that their normal subscriptions will be there, the normal usage will be there. But because of the coronavirus, you will see an uptick of more and more people spending time in their apps, spending time to, in their phones, causing them to have a lot of income. That's one. Number two, a uh, company which I think will will do well, earn more, and you've seen it, the man from. All of the disclosures, no. I think Pure Gold is a good bet. It's a pure supermarket play. And if you see a lot of people uh, hoard, not on hoarding, but trying to think ahead, buying canned goods, buying alcohol, uh, buying uh, tissue paper, buying uh, sanitizer, buying all of this stuff from groceries and supermarkets, then there will be an uptick in what they're possibly earning as well. So I think Pure Gold will be a direct recipient of all of it. As you all know, there are other companies also that have uh, groceries and supermarkets. I think Robinson's Retail will be one of them as well. However, you must peg it into consideration also that they're, they, they're, their business is not just supermarkets, but they have other uh, business models as well where they have department stores, which I think in times like this, there will be lesser people shopping. There, you might see more people shop uh, in online stores uh, for for their clothes, <laughs> my wife. Uh, you will see them. You will see them spend more in that way than uh, than just to go intentionally in department stores to shop. But what I believe, because Pure Gold has the bare essentials. When I say with the bare essentials, things that people will need, uh, even in times of uncertainty, even in times of a lot of people being scared. So. That being said, I, I like Pure Gold also, but as you all know, the stock is also bearish, similar to the way I explained PLDT and uh, Globe. We Until we see it start to reverse, you can expect that there might still be a risk that the stock may go lower. But I really believe in terms of earnings, uh, Pure Gold will do much, much better than you buying, say, an airline company, that you buying, say, an oil company, that that say you buying anything that will be greatly affected by tourism or something that's connected to the hotel industry those companies will be hit more those companies will be hit directly it will damage their dividends and if i've seen it already I've, I've had a chance to travel over the past few weeks and uh most hotels that i've been to are not really full i was i was in shangri la maktan uh just a couple of weeks ago and that hotel is normally filled with korean chinese tourists when i was there uh, it was literally empty. We were just one of the few people who had functions there and there were there weren't a lot of people also occupying the rooms. Hence they had to lower prices down. So the, the narrative there is prices are low now and it's still not full. So you can expect a lot of if you are a consumer, there's actually a good it's this is actually one of the best times also for you to travel to uh when I say cheap times for you to travel but because there's a lot of risk when a lot of people don't want to travel you get to do a lot of things that are cheap and then you will see a lot of sales i think in malls you will see a lot of sales in other areas for them to be able to bolster up a bit of their sales and recoup some of the uh the i guess lackluster earnings or lackluster sales that they'll be getting as well so there tell uh globe your gold and if you've been watching it already there's uh over the past weeks euromed has been going up that's 
pretty much because Euromed, as you all know, is connected to pharma. And as you all know, around the world also, pharmaceutical stocks have been moving up. It, it, it can be it can be because a lot of people are thinking that that it's the best indirect way for you to be able to take advantage or, or ride whatever is happening based on the coronavirus. That's why Euromed is also up. But uh, that's how it could possibly go now. So even if they're not the ones really creating the cure for it, but just the thought that they're a pharma stock, a lot of people will be riding it as well. And that's why over the past weeks, you saw it spike up and its large move up. So those are the four companies that I would like you guys to look at. Uh, another thing though, and this is just a tip, this is not any more a this is not any more stock market related but this is business related for those who are very entrepreneurial i really believe that a lot of those on online pl platforms right now a lot of those companies that are selling online from shopee carousel lazada zalora uh even even grab even food panda and even a lot of those courier services they'll do well why uh courier services in a way that you'll see more and more people want to travel less they'll want to have lesser interactions meaning so they'll try to just courier everything they'll just try to send everything you the things that they don't need to do by themselves they're just gonna send them uh, to people's way so gonna then for food a lot of people may not uh, go out anymore they just want to have food delivered that's why grab and food panda will uh, crush it uh, will earn more also and if you've seen the trend already more and more people using online transactions how much more right now when a lot of people don't want to go out so so there um my suggestion also if you want to make money off of this especially if there's a lot of things that that are restricting you from earning if you can't go out just just maximize the online space try to sell something either your uh either products that you can sell via carousel shopee lazada zalora or uh your services via a lot of the online platforms that we have there's so much online platforms where you could uh you could earn no and i just wanted to make a video about how you can make money using doing online jobs but i'm not really an expert in that i'm gonna try to see if i can interview someone if that's someone that's something that's interesting to all of you comment online jobs and i'll try to make a video off of that as well so there so your technique by the way in all of this pldd globe uh pure golds particularly because those companies have legit and amazing earnings should be basically this uh, these are for people who are not traders but basically for investors uh, the way you should segment this basically is this as long as you figure out you have to also do your due diligence so please don't just buy it just because i say it but you study it and after you have studied that you find you find out if you would find out these things these are the parameters for you to buy the stock these are the parameters for you to be able to to look at it and this should be your exit mechanisms this should be your triggers to get out from the stock once you've defined those things the name of the game now is you should be only putting money that if you don't plan to touch it for a long time and should it decline further you're supposed to be okay with it this is literally just for people who want to be investors this is for people who want to uh, stay in the market for uh, for a longer period of time want to come in now because they're generally cheap and uh, you can withstand the volatility should it drop further because at the end of the day you watch a lot of people uh, and you watch a lot of people say that no one knows where the bottom is it's very very true and no one should try to attempt to figure out how low will it go we will only see it already when technicals reveal to us that the markets have started to reverse as well so but that those are the companies that i believe will make money will will perform better than a lot of the other brick and mortar stores and a lot of the other uh, traditional businesses and than a lot of the other transport and tourism related industries as well because at the end of the day until we see this weather off uh, it's better to stay in cash or to position in companies that you know will perform still. Oh, just another input, Meralco. Because more people will be at home, more people will be consuming, Meralco will make money. And Meralco, by the way, from a trend perspective, is still in a downtrend. Uh, it really hasn't reversed also as of this, um, me making the video today. So you can add that to the mix. You can add that regardless of what happens in the economy, people will still stay, will pay their Meralco bills as well. And I would have said, I would have said Manila Water, but uh, because of the uncertainty that Manila Water had over the past few weeks, it may, there might be a better uh, placement for your money up until that weather's down as well. So I guess that's it. Uh, just a quick invite also. I always end uh, my, set, my videos with this. If you'd like to know more about what I'm talking about, you might have just stumbled upon my channel and you don't know uh, what am I talking about. This feels like jargon to all of you. I have links below for all of my seminars around the world. Manila, 
this March. It's actually next week already. Then London this April. Uh, May, I'll be in Doha, Qatar. And I will also be in Singapore. Then in June, I will be in uh, Auckland, New Zealand. July, Sydney, Australia. If you're from those areas, please comment the cities that you want to attend. But if you, if you just want details on it, everything is in the description below. November, we have Tokyo. But I'm not so sure depending on how uh, the cases of coronavirus in Tokyo will be. Uh, but it's still pegged there hope, hoping that by November everything clears out then Dubai also this November and for those who cannot attend those cities I have online courses one is what, what you call stock market for everyone it's with Chinkitan uh, it's the basics of the stock market in Tagalog then aside from that I also have uh, business and investing online course with Sean C it's called make money grow money it's for people who want to uh, learn the rudiments of entrepreneurship and who want to learn how to invest in the stock market. All of the details are in, on, in the description below as well. And lastly, if you guys want to order my books, they're all available via Shopee right now. And uh, there are five books on the basics of the market, on investing, on winning strategies, on fundamentals, and technical analysis. So there, I hope this video helps you and I hope it gives you the right insight on how you can win in the markets. Because one thing that you want to do that you don't want to do well, all of this is happening is to react based on emotion, to react based on fear, to react based on what the crowd is doing. The way for you to win is to decide on your own how you're supposed to act, how you're supposed to trade, how you're supposed to live your life as well. Never let fear rule your day to day. Always move with logic, always move with precaution, always move also that whatever move you make, it has to be something that you decide on. It's some, it has to be something that you plan. It's not something that you will just do just because of emotions as well. And I guess that's it for now. This is Marvin Germo. I just really want you guys to win. And I want you guys to be financially free. And I hope this video helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. See you all again soon, guys. And God bless you all.